I'm joined now here on stage in the Golf Race Fuels Racing Zone presented by Stonebridge Specialty Insurance by Jack Polito, the champion last year in the GT4 class for the FEL Sports Car Championship Canada. Quite a season for your first full year, winning 9 of 12 races in the class. How would you describe your season as a whole? Well, describing my season as a whole, it was uh, very successful. We had uh, no uh, major incidents, so it was a very good season. And yeah, we were, couldn't have been more happy with it, the way it went. Yeah. So I guess it started uh, quite rainy, foggy, CTMP, usual yeah. deal for uh, Victoria Day weekend. How was that like racing in those elements? Oh, I loved it. I had a blast. I love the rain. I've been racing at that track since I was 15 years old, and I've raced a bit quite a bit in the rain there, so uh, I felt pretty comfortable, and the car handles so good in the rain, so I was loving it. I had a blast. And I guess the other uh, interesting thing with uh, the Sports Car Championship Canada, they start the classes sort of divided from each other, but um, so I know the battle's usually just caring about the class, but when you add um, uh, battling there and it ended up being a TCR class winning at the CTMP Dean Baker in the finale and you guys were both like oh it doesn't matter that's the other class but how is it like sort of battling with those other cars for the overall win? It's uh, pretty interesting that's for sure yeah that that first race there last year it's a little bit nervous in the car right it's a brand new car so I didn't want to wreck anything but uh, yeah those cars they were just in my opinion they weren't properly BOP'd yet so uh, yeah, there was nothing really I could do. There was a couple laps left when I was battling Dean, and uh, yeah, I wasn't really, I didn't care that much, right? So I just, I, I did well enough. I was happy. I won my class, and that was good enough for me. That was actually two seasons ago in the last race at CTMP of the season in 2021. So it happened more than once then? Yeah. Huh. So uh, then moving on to the streets, uh, Toronto GP3 are back to back. That's always a challenge. And you had some good battles there with Nick Land. How were those uh, street course races for you? So it was uh, something definitely to get into that, that was different for me. Like my first race at Toronto Indy was definitely nervous, but nervousing. But uh, once I had practice there, I got pretty comfortable and I was going at it. I felt pretty com I was comfortable with it after the first day and I was ready to rock. And then because I got comfortable at Toronto Windy with the walls, it was no different than GP3R, and I had already learned the track prior to going on Sims, so it was just like second nature. So looking ahead to this season, uh, Sports Car Championship Canada running a similar schedule to last year. What, uh, what are your plans for this season, I guess, first off? So uh, this season we're getting a new car. We're going to take it up a few notches, hopefully, as far as uh, how we do. We want to have a pretty dominant season this year, but you never know how things are going to go. So uh, we're going to stay in focus, staying at it, staying in training, going hard in sims, practicing, and uh, yeah, we'll see how the season rolls out. What are you uh, most, I guess, um, what you like the most about running in the FEL Sports Car Championship Canada? Somewhat new uh, series here, only a few years yeah. in, under the belt. It's just, I have a black, like, I haven't had more fun in my entire life not being in that car. Like, I have the most fun I've ever had in that car, and it's just such an experience. So getting to do it is just unreal for me, and I just appreciate every moment I'm in that car. And, uh, yeah, I just it's just the coolest feeling in the world at the end of the day. And then uh, I guess we're near the CASC booth here. They have a big presence, and I know that's sort of where you began racing. You yeah. mentioned different, not starting with karting, so... Uh, sort of how has that background been and how has that helped you with a tricky track like CTMP where you seem to do really well? Yeah, so I started actually when I was 15 years old in a prelude and I did my first regional race and we ended up taking home the win, which was awesome and uh, slowly worked my way up and I showed that I could actually I could drive and prove, pro proved myself pretty well and uh, that's how it kind of worked up and I just slowly had more and more track time at Mossport and it ended up just getting quicker and quicker and that's my home track now so it's my place you know <laughs> that's my home for sure and uh, I guess here at Motorama you'll be uh, introduced on stage in a little while getting a bit of an extra championship celebration beyond yeah. like the FPL banquet uh, what are you most looking forward to about here with the uh, night of champions well to be honest this is actually my first time ever being at Motorama so I feel very appreciative that I got invited by by them so it's just pretty cool for me I got to take, leave work a little bit early today so it's pretty nice and I get to come look at some awesome cars and enjoy the event and I get an award. It's pretty awesome. Okay. They have you working on the weekend? We're in sales, baby. 24-7? <laughs> yeah. 
We're at sales. So I guess uh, now the defending champion, uh, do you feel any extra pressure having it where you're trying to do two in a row, be defend that crown? No, not at all. No, I don't feel any pressure whatsoever. I'm just excited. I know how I can drive, and yeah, I'm just really excited to get down, down and onto the pavement, pedal to the metal, you know? So yeah, I'm just looking forward to the season. And where can people uh, follow along with your racing efforts? So uh, right now, our presence has been a little bit uh, subtle, but we're going to increase it. So we have an Instagram, Polito Racing, and uh, that's going to be one area where we're going to be promoting our stuff. As well as my Instagram, I'm going to start up too. It's underscore Jack Polito. And uh, yeah, and then we have a bit of stuff on Facebook there. Under Polito Ford Lincoln, we post little updates like that. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Jack Polito, the defending champion in the GT4 class for the FEL Sports Car Championship Canada. Thanks for joining me on the Racing no Zone problem. stage. Yeah, had a blast.